Crimson Invasion releases on November 3rd and to celebrate I'd like to give away a sealed Crimson Invasion booster box. To enter this giveaway all you need to do is like the video you're watching, comment down below the hashtag Amity Invasion and subscribe to the channel. Like and comment on every video I upload until November 30th to increase your chances of winning. Good luck everyone! What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we are back with 100 packs of Crimson Invasion here on TCGO. This is going to be a massive opening today you guys So without further ado if you guys are keen for today's opening Be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel But with that said let's get into pack number one here. So we got 167 there. We'll have 67 left by the end of it um, But yeah, this is to go like back to back with my opening of 144 uh, Crimson Invasion sleeved boost packs that I opened on the channel. I'll be sure to leave a link in the video description or up in the iCard for you guys to go check out if you guys have the time. It is a bit of a long video today. You guys can see all these cards should all be new. I don't know why that Carablast is not new because I only got one. But um, yeah, it's to go back to back with that sleeve boost pack opening. It was an absolutely insane opening. We got some crazy good balls. So yeah, we're, we're going to do our thing here and see what TCGO has to offer out of 100 booster packs but nice so we got a an, an octillery there a regular rare okay okay so we can have a bit of a recap as well because these are the very first packs that i'm opening here on tcgo of um of crimson invasion so we can basically go into the set and see what ultra is and stuff we pulled from the set but our first hollow pull of the opening here today is the type null 110 hp with arm press and slashing claw and fun little fact about that type null there it um was actually I did not pull a single holo rare type null until like right at the end of my 144 packs. It's one of those cards that really just avoided me to the end. And then we ended up getting like getting one. So yeah, bit of a fun fun fact about that. The pull rates on a type null is pretty low. <laughs> it's pretty low. Or well, based on what I got, I, I opened. But we do have a reverse holo leucine there, which is a pretty good pull. That is one of the more playable cards from the set. If you're looking to know a little bit about playability. But other than that, the more ex like the more expensive cards in the set, I believe, was like Guzzlord, Kartana, um, Silvalli. Silvalli is definitely highly desired right now. But we got one of the new cards here. You got Dashing Pouch. It says if the Pokemon card, uh, this card is attached to, discards energy for its retreat cost. Put that energy into your hand instead of into the um, instead of the discard pile. So that's that's not bad, not bad at all. With a Miss Magius, regular rare. Righty, we're in a bit of a dry spell here. We're waiting for our first ultra rare hit. We have hit a holo, but that is nothing all too fancy. You guys already know we want that ultra rare goodness here, but we got an, a Reggie still there with an Aronguru regular rare. It's got 110 HP with Fixer of the Forest and Zen Head, but Fixer of the Forest says put three Pokemon tool cards from your discard pile into your hand. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I think another expensive one as well is Buzzwall. I, I believe the Hyper Rare for Buzzwall is pretty expensive. Lusamine, of course. We want the Lusamine Full Art. That's always nice. But there's our first regular Lusamine from the online opening today. Then we just got a Staraptor. A regular Rare. I wonder what it is going to be. You, let me know in the comment section um, below what Ultra Rare you guys think that we'll pull first in today's opening. But we've got another Lusamine there. That's number two. With another Staraptor, regular rare. Back to back Staraptors. Alrighty, nice. We got that, that awesome looking magic card. Check out that art, guys. Check out that art. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. But then we got a counter energy there with a reverse holo of a Komodo, which is a reverse holo rare. With another Staraptor? Three back to back? That's kind of crazy. That is kind of, kind of crazy. We've already hit four Staraptor regular rares out of the packs that we've opened today, you guys. Four already. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we got a Reverse Holo Psychic Memory there, an attachment for Seal Valley. And an Alolan Raichu Holo Rare, 110 HP with the ability Surge Surfer and Psychic. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, so what is next, guys? What is going to be our first ultra rare pull? So we got a Cacnea, a Reverse Holo Common, 
And there it is. Our first ultra rare pull from the 100 packs that we're going to be opening today is a Boswell GX. It's got 190 HP. It is an ultra beast. It's got jet punch, knuckle impact, and absorption GX, which says it does 40 times damage. For three fighting, this attack does 40 damage for each of your remaining prize cards. So if you're having a killer game, you've got six prize cards left, it will do 240, which can knock out a high majority of the GXs out there, but not all of them. Like, for example, the Alolan Golem in this set, it's got 250 HP. Sorry, he's, he's living, he's living, but only for one extra turn. But nice, there is our first ultra rare pull from the 100 packs. Alrighty, so in our next pack here, we have a Reverse Holo Rare of an Altaria. It's got 90 HP with Draco Malady and Cotton Guard. And a Regigigas Holo. Nice, nice. 180 HP there with the ability Seal of Antiquity. Antiquity and Giant Storm. Nice. Awesome looking art on that one, you guys. I love these arts. They're so cool. Lots of awesome arts. That's an awesome execute art as well. Okay, okay. Now the next question is, we've got an ultra rare, got some holos going, we've got an ultra rare. When, when is our next full art or secret rare? When is when is it going to happen? Ooh, there we go. Another ultra rare. Speaking of like power, here is Mr. Movember himself, I like to say, because he's got that nice no, um, November uh, mustache there. Nice. Alolan Golem, 250. Speaking of the devil, 250 HP with hammer in, super electromagnetic tackle, and heavy rock GX. I believe this is like the same moves as the Hollow Rare from. Uh, Hollow Rare from. Was it Guardians Rising? Or was it from Burning Shadows? It was one of the two. There was a Hollow Rare, and I believe it had the exact same attacks there, other than the um, Heavy Rock GX. But it did have those two attacks, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, 250 HP. Huge. Absolutely huge HP. Nice, there is our second GX pull. Second ultra rare pull. It's a good sign. It is a good sign. So we got a reverse holo rare of a Reg Ice with an Alol another Alolan Raichu holo rare. Okay. I love Alolan Raichu, guys. I love it. But we got another reverse holo rare. Lots of reverse holo rares coming through right now. We got the Cacturn and that, that Staraptor. The troll, the troll itself right now, just absolutely trolling me here on TCGO, taking up all my rares. Go away. Leave me alone. We want those ultra rares, and we want them now. There we go. A hollow rare. Beware. 130 HP with the ability Fluffy and Crosscut. Fluffy says this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from the attacks of your opponent's non-fire Pokemon. Okay. That's, that's kind of like okay, but like it's health. Could be a bit higher, to be honest. But yeah, okay, 30 less damage. Let's open another one, and another one. What is next here? So we got a Lucimine. Do we have a playset? Oh, one short, one short of a playset here. We got the Dashing Pouch, Reverse Holo there. All Reverse Holo trainers are appreciated with a Primeape regular rare there. But yeah, we want all of the Reverse Holo trainers. They're always um, a welcome sight here on TCGO for sure. Because if you can't pull the secret rare, why not pull the um, pull the reverse holo? It's always it's always the next best, always the next best. Okay, so we got a fighting memory there. We got the counter catcher star you with a crawdorn regular rare. Why does that art look so faded in that picture there? It totally looks like really faded. They need to add some contrast to that one there. Do some do some photo editing, add, add a little bit of contrast there like that. See the core, core fish there? It looks like a bit sharper, a bit darker in color. That's how it should look. But that crawled on, it's so faded. Reversal of Rare of an Escavalier, which is actually the troll from my sleeved booster case, you guys. So yeah, if you guys go check that one out, link will be in the video description or up in the iCard. You can see this card trolls me throughout that whole, that whole sleeve booster pack opening. But there we go, another um, primate with that ugly looking dull art. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of those like clay or like dull arts, like that primate, primate where it's just like a figure placed in like a scenery and that's that's the whole design of the card. But we have a Gorgeist regular rare here. It's got 120 HP with Confuse Ray and Pumpkin Bomb. 
Awesome. And what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Some new cards here. We got a Carablaster and a Mankey being some new commons. With a, another Oronguru regular rare. That is our second one from today's opening. Okay, so we got a Chimeco Reverse Holo Common with a Wishful Baton Secret Rare. So it's not the craziest, uh, craziest secret rares, but it's definitely a welcome sight here on TCGO. Like, I, like I'm saying, like the trainers, like all of those special trainers, they're all welcome. Because if you're going to use them in your deck, at least at least you got the, the gold there ready to go. So if the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, Move up to three basic energy cards from that Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. Yeah, see, I like that. I like that. I think the Wishful Baton came from... It, I think it was Guidings Rising. I believe they had the regular Uncommon. And now they've made it a secret rare in this set. I did like that card. It, it kind of appealed to me, but it, it hasn't really, like, shot up in price, I guess you could say. Like, it's kind of just been one of those, like, mid-range cards. But that is our first secret rare pull from the 100 packs. Of Crimson Invasion. Nice. There we go. A reverse holo Gladion. That will be a welcome sight in full art for sure. We're definitely looking to get a Gladion very soon. Hopefully, we can get it in today's opening. I want it. I need it. I need it and I want it. I need it in real life. It looks so cool. It's such a cool card. And it is one of the pricier ones in the set as well. It's definitely one of the cards to get from the set. But here we go. We have a Gengar reverse holo rare. And. And a Ronguru regular rare. That is a Ronguru number three. Nice. There we go. So there is our complete play set of Lusamines in the regular there. And we've got two reverse hollows there. Ooh, this is our chance, guys. Can we get the third Lusamine? Can we get a Lusamine full art? I'm not going to look. No, we couldn't do it. Uh, it's just a Starmie regular rare. <laughs> So close, guys. That like that was our chance. If we were gonna get a Lusamine Full Art to make the complete trio there, that was gonna be the time, and that would have been epic, epic. But lots of good guys coming through now. That's our third one in the space of like a couple of packs. We went from having none to having three in like the space of about ten packs, easy, easily. But another dashing pouch. That is dashing pouch number two, with another Oronguru. Lots of lots of um, dupes coming through here. So. What pack number are we up to now? Uh, so we had 67, now we're at 37. So we've done 30 so far. So we'll do another 20 and then we'll open a random pack just to kind of like spice things up a bit. And if uh, if these packs are like feeling if they're getting in like a rhythm of being really bad, we'll open up a random set and come back. And usually I get like lucky when, when that happens. But we've got a Gladion here. It's our, that, is that our first one? Yeah, that is our first regular Gladion. Interesting, but we have a reverse holo rare of a Zonius. Majestic looking art, awesome looking art right there. With another Staraptor. Six Staraptors out of like a handful of packs. 30, 31 packs, I, I believe it is now. I think we calculated it just before. Okay, fighting memory, reverse holo. With a B drill regular rare. Haven't seen too many B drills actually now that I think about it. That, that, that was probably our first B drill. I, sh I probably should have had a look. A reverse holo Gorgas. That's that's different. I'll take it. Like a reverse holo, like of that of a card we've we've been getting a lot of. That's that's kind of kind of good. But uh, here's B drill number two. So it was our first B drill, but there is B drill number two. So hopefully we're not gonna have a wave of B drills now. We seem to be having waves of mons. Like we had the Staraptor, then we had we've had Oronguru, then we've had something else as well I can't I, I'm having a bit of a mind blank right now but there's a second Gladion it's funny once you see a card once you see it a lot but this is our first Hydreigon regular regular rare so coming from uh, the perspective of a booster box right now we've opened up about 36 packs and we've pulled a couple of hollows but one secret rare and two ultra rares out of 36 packs pull rates are way down here on TCGO right now. Like this is kind of depressing. We should have we should have totally hit like a full art by now for sure. At least a full art and like another another ultra rare. But we got a reverse holo Orongru. That is our first reverse holo there. 
And there it is. Awesome. That is an amazing pull right there, you guys. We have the Lusamine Full Art, the most desired card from the set. Probably the only, like, heavily desired card from the set. Basically, what this card does, it says, put two in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand. So... It, it's not a bad card. It's just a refresh, but it looks babe and it is like the bay of the set It's it's nothing like my my Skylar I don't know if you guys will see this through the through the webcam nothing like not like Skylar Bay, but loose me she, she, She's in the bay collection for sure definitely in the bay collection for sure Awesome, there we go. There we go. It's a shame. We couldn't have got that in the uh, the Three loose mean one pack like scenario, but we can still do that. We can still do uh, do that in an uh, upcoming pack if um, TCG TCGO treats me nicely and we can get another Lusamine. But then also having the combination of like a Lusamine in the uncommon section, Lusamine in the rare section, and then a Lusamine here? Yeah? No, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't do it there. Oh, I want another one now. We've, we've hit one, so that, that's a good thing. There's our first full art of the opening today. It took us like over 36 packs, but um, it has me kind of jealous. Because I have not pulled the Lusamine Full Art. A little bit of a spoiler there uh, for the um, case opening. I did not pull a Lusamine Full Art. But I do have a sealed booster case. Ooh, hello. Hello. I do have... Sorry, I'll, I'll continue my story and then we'll talk about this lol and executor. Um, yeah, I do have a, a sealed booster case of Crimson Invasion to open on the channel as well. So we should hopefully get a lot of new cards to add to the set binder from that one there. But... Here it is, the majestic looking Alolan Executor GX Secret Rare or Hyper Rare. 220 HP with Tropical Head, drag, Dragon Hammer, and Tower Go Around GX. So Tower Go Around GX says for a unlisted leaf energy and three colorless, does 180, says move any number of energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. So interesting, interesting. Another GX ability that's just kind of, kind of interesting. But Dragon Hammer could totally do more damage, like for sure. For sure, yeah. it, it should do like 160, like minimum. For four energy, like you, you'd think it would. You'd think it would, but nice. That is our first hyper rare pull. So we went from like the Wishful Bat Re Secret Rare to a Lucy Lucimine to a Alolan Executor. Like that's our three ultra rare pulls, like back to back to back right now. So that's kind of interesting. Back to back to back powerful pulls from nothing. Absolutely nothing to just hitting straight fire. And there you go. So now we're going through a wave of like epic pulls here. So we have the Alolan Golem Full Art to go off our regular Alolan Golem. Nice. That's so like bright and yellow. I didn't I didn't realize how like bright that card is. That's nice. Let me know your thoughts on like the color scheme of that Alolan Golem Full Art in the comment section below. It's not like a very play playable card by any means. If anything, it's probably the least playable card from the set right now. But it's I, I think it still look, looks nice. Let's let's be real. But there's another Starmie there. Starmie number three with that. Th this is like that um, figure looking art where they place it in like a real a real place and take a photo of it and it being the card art. I'm not a fan. I'm I'm really not a fan. Some people, um, some of you guys may be collectors of that kind of figure art, but I am personally not a collector of that style of art. And there he is. There is Alolan Golem number two. It seems to be like loving me. Like I only pulled one of these GXs from the sleeve booster case, but um, here on TCGO, it's just coming through. It's it's loving, loving and a little bit of um, appreciation from yours truly. Nice. It's good to see the ultra rares flowing now. I want to keep. I want to keep seeing this ultra rare flow right now. There's a, there's a holo rare red ice. What number is that? Number two, two from today's opening. I think we got the reverse holo as well, just before. This is kind of exciting, guys. We're starting to hit some power, and that's what I like to see. All right, nice. So we got a, another Buzzwell GX. That is sweet. That is that is another awesome pull right there. We're on a streak right now, you guys. I don't know if we've gone back to back to back with like white code pulls, but oh, it was happening. It was happening. I was totally like, if this is another like ultra rare or hollow or better, we're on like a killer pull streak right now. But there's just a, that was like one of our first Regirock regular rares. 
So we get a reverse holo rare of a type null. Nice. That is number one. Number one right there. Interesting art. Very interesting art. It's in the Aether Paradise and it's like fully destroyed the place. But I like, I, I like type null. It's cool. Very unique Pokemon. With an Agron, holo rare, number one. Number one. So it's got 170 HP with Revenge Cannon and Buster Swing. Cool. It's good to see the pull flow. Whether it's a holo or, or better, like that's what we want to see. So the more the merrier. So we have a reversal of rare of a Slazzle. I love this art on this Slazzle. It looks absolutely great. Absolutely awesome art. With a go go holo rare. So this the kind of like Positive pulls continue. That's what I like to see. So we go go here. 120 HP with the ability Sap Sipper and Horn Leech. Nice. Horn Leech says it does 80 for a leaf energy and a double colorless. Uh, heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Definitely not seeing too, too much play. Just doesn't have enough HP. 120 HP is just not enough for a stage two. You want some powerful, powerful stage two-ness. But then, once again, we got my Milotic here, 120 HP, once again, exactly the same, it's just a regular rare, it's got the uh, b um, attack here, TLC. So if you guys know what TLC stands for, let me know in the comment section below, I have no clue. I saw this um, when I opened up my sleeve booster case, I don't have a clue what it stands for. If you guys do, I'd love to know in the comment section below, I'll, be ma make, I'll make sure I read every single comment and see who lets me know what that means. But um, then it's got Ocean Cyclone as well. But that is another holo rare pull. So this like the kind of positive pulls continue. That's what I I, I think that's a, that's a bit of a thing, that positive pull. Positive pull streak. But we got an Altaria regular rare. It's got 90 HP with Draco Melody and Cotton Guard. Lovely looking art. Awesome, awesome looking art. Okay. So what do we have here? We have a reverse holo rare of a type null once again. Awesome. That is pretty cool. And then we have a cacturn regular rare. Okay, so let's spice things up here. How many packs have we opened? We've nearly done 60 something. Well, yeah, nearly heading on towards, we're heading on towards the 60 mark. So let's open up a random Guardians Rising. Just cause. Let's see if we can get a Lele. Just to mix things up. Let's see if we can get a Lele. And then we'll head back straight into Crimson Invasion and keep opening the goodness here. Oh, nice. We got two Marlow one pack there. Okay, so we couldn't, couldn't get it, uh, our random Lele, which would have been like glorious. But at the same time, I didn't think it was going to happen. Let's do a Burning Shadows as well. And then we'll head back into... Actually, let's do a Sun and Moon base as well. We'll do like a, a variation of each of the Sun and Moon sets and head straight back into Crimson. Just to spice things up here. So a super scoop up and just a Persian regular rare. Alrighty, come on. We're knocking you down to the big 169 packs. We, you can do it. That's This is a lucky pack. We're going to get an Ultra Ball. We're going to get an Ultra Ball. My first one that I've ever pulled myself. First Ultra Ball. Come on. A Primarina Reverse Holo Rare. I'm going to close my eyes. Look away. Ah, oh, it's just a masquerade. No, we went th three from three there with nothing. Ah, oh, still yet to pull that Ultra Ball, guys. I'm still yet to hit that Ultra Ball. Kind of sucks. It makes me depressed. I can't, I can't sleep at night sometimes. It just makes me a bit restless to know that I've opened so many packs and I still cannot get that, that Ultra Ball. But we can get two Alolan Executors right now, you guys. <laughs> that is our second one from today's opening. Our 100 packs of Crimson Invasion. Nice. Check out how majestic that thing is. Like, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of a Lolan Executor. I think it's pretty cool. I love. I just love the look of it. Look of it. If we can hit the full art, that would be even more amazing because the the look of the full art is just so cool, so cool. But one card that I would love to see before I hit hit this rare because I know it's going to be what I'm saying. Like it might. Well, I don't know for a fact, but I want to hit the Gyarados. Gyarados. It just looks so cool. Okay, it's just a weekly tough. We're, we're all good. But we haven't pulled a Gyarados yet, and I'd love to see that here on TCGO as well. Oh, talking about Ultra Rares, we have a Nihiligo GX. It's got 180 HP with the ability Empty Light, Lock Up, and Symboyant GX. So Empty Light says, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may leave both active, active Pokemon confused and poisoned. Interesting. 
Interesting. A lockup does 120 for three psychic. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Which is, that, that's not too bad. Not too bad. And Symboyant GX, add, add the top two cards of your opponent's deck to their prize cards. Like, that is broken. I, I think that is broken. Like, seriously. Making them have more prize cards to get is making them delay their chances to win. Which is like, I think that's, that's kind of a pretty solid, like, GX ability, to be honest. Let me know your thoughts of Symboyant GX in the comment section below. That's... Yeah, like yeah, that's pretty pretty broken in my in my opinion Like straight off the bat you could use that straight at the start of the game They got eight prize cards instead of six. I like that's that's how I see it I don't know if there's any rules on like they need to take prize cards first, but yeah Nice, so this is our first Salazzle holo rare. This is that awesome art that I was talking about just before I love it There's just like so many of them and it just looks so cool But it's got 110 HP with nasty plot and severe poison Alrighty. So we got a Shelmet there with a Alolan Golem number three. So yeah, the, the TCGO is going to spit those at me. They're just going to keep throwing them at me because it's going to be one of those cards that is the least de desirable. And I'm sure, I'm sure they know it for sure. And they up the pull ratio on it because they know that it's not as playable as some. Like for example, the Sil Valley, which we haven't seen anything of right now. Gyarados and Sil Valley. We need to see, see those two. And we haven't even hit like a regular Alolan Executor right now. We have two Hyper Rares, no Full Art, and no regular. I don't, I don't get it, guys. I don't understand the poor rates. It's just, it is what it is. They're just a regular rare Crawdont in that pack. I don't understand these poor rates on TCGO. Sometimes they're glorious, and then other times, not so glorious. But going back to back there with the camera up regular rares. We had one before that. Now we got three out of nowhere. So we got a Phoebus Reverse Holo Common with a Cacturn Regular Air. So here comes a Regular Air Dry Spell, which is usually pretty expected. I know the pull rates are dropped. I'm just hoping that they didn't do it here on TCG. I was, I was so hoping that the pull rates would be a bit more randomized, a bit higher. But it just doesn't seem that way right now. It seems like it's pretty stock standard all round. And they've said it to be similar to... Um, the sleeve booster case that I opened, but we got a third Reg Ice Hollow Rare right there. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I really want to just have like straight fire like through the whole opening here. But talking about Sil Valley, there is the Sil Valley GX. So it's got 210 HP with the ability Gyro Unit, Turbo Drive, and Rebel GX. So Gyro Unit says your basic Pokemon in play have no retreat cost, which is pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Um, Turbo Drive says for three colorless does 120 attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon Which is nice. That's always good and rebel GX says for three colorless does 50 times damage This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponents benched Pokemon so you can do a potential of Oh, what's that five five on the bench 250? You're pretty much knocking out anything with that like to be honest if they got a full bench you're, whatever, you're knocking out whatever Whatever's in front of you, basically. For sure. So that's that's an awesome card. I love Sil Valley. Looks so cool. Such an awesome card. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section below of that Sil Valley GX. I think it's got potential to be quite a playable, playable card there. And talking about like random, random pulls right there. We just went back to back with Sil Valley GXs. Oh my. Oh my. How do you do that? Like, how does that happen? What's next? Can we get the full art? Come on, we can do it. We can do it. No! No way! Back to back to back. Ultra rare or better pulls right now. Oh my goodness. So we have the warp energy, the new warp energy, a secret rare. This card provides colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to, uh, to your active Pokemon, switch that Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Uh, like that is cool. Look at that art. It's got like the um, like dimension kind of um, design there where like the energy is in the middle But obviously it's representing that when you play this on a Pokemon It's gonna go in there onto the bench kind of thing like it's gonna like warp to another position, which is awesome. That is so cool That is insane. 
back to back to back ultra rare or better pulls in three packs two still valleys and then a warp energy can we go four from four that is the question oh no we couldn't orangaroo breaks the streak that would have been awesome that would have been absolutely insane wow two of the two of the best gx's in the set like so valley is one of the best gx's in the set for sure but then hit, hitting two of those and then going straight into a secret rare like what are the chances of that like totally and i don't i don't have that warp energy i need the warp energy for the real collection Ah, oh, so many cards to collect. So little time, guys. So many cards to collect. But just another camera up to regular rare with that reverse holo Orangaroo. Uh, excuse me. So we're gonna reverse holo Hound Hour with a holo rare Xerneas. This is actually my first reverse um holo rare Xerneas. We do have it in reverse holo form, but it's got 130 HP with lead and bright horns. Alright, next up. Next up. That was insane. I still can't get over that right now. But there's a Lusami. We haven't seen um, one of those for a while. We hit the play set and then that was kind of it for that for a while. But we got five of those now with an Altaria regular rare. What pack are we up to? I, I've lost count, guys. I've lost count. Where, where are we at? 94. So we're heading near the end here now. 94 packs to go. But um, no, 90, 94 packs left. But we need to hit 67. So what's that? Like 30 packs? Just under 30 packs to go? Oh, can these balls like kick it up a notch like can we get some some power like i know i know we had like a bit of a wave there but we, we can have wave two can't we like that's not that's not too too much to ask right now a wave two of just like epic ultra rare balls secret rare balls like we hit that lucamine like i'm just saying hitting that lucamine alone is like that's perfect that's all we, all we kind of like needed we can we can definitely i'll accept another one another one for sure Oh, Alolan Marowak. We haven't hit one of those yet. Alolan Marowak, reversal rare. It's got 100 HP with Dance of Flames, which costs nothing. And then Burning Boomerang. Interesting. With a Crawdorn, regular rare. This is kind of exciting, guys. Kind of exciting. After we got those, like, that streak of good pulls, it just, like, it really kind of shocked me. I'm like, whoa, like, whoa. Like, where did this come from? We're just so chill and not pulling any Silvalis and the Silvalli comes through and it like saves us. Alrighty, so we got a Gorgeist regular rare. That makes a playset of regular rare Gorgeist. See, we kind of like went through a phase where we were getting like Gorgeist, Gorgeist, Gorgeist and then like nothing. It just kind of faded away. But there is a Mamoswine regular rare. That is our first regular rare Mamoswine. Okay. When are we gonna break the dry streak here? It's how it usually works. We go through like a massive dry streak and then we'll just hit hit pulls. It'll just be like a wave of just epic pulls. Okay, so we have a Salandit, which is a reverse holo common and another Cacturn regular rare that makes number five. It looks like we're hitting about five of each regular rare on average throughout, throughout 100 packs. And then we have a Beware Holo Rare that is number two from today's opening. Okay. So I think we're nearing the end here already. But there's an another Lusamine there with a Gorgeist regular rare. Speak of the devil. We're definitely nearing the end here. 84 packs. Oh, oh I hate it when we get close to, the, close to the end of these 100, 100 pack openings. It's so much fun. I love creating these videos for you guys. If you guys have enjoyed today's opening so far, make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let me know if you guys would like to see more of these bulk TCGO openings on the channel. My last one that I, that I did for Burning Shadows, 100 packs of that. That was really fun as well. We got some awesome pulls there. And um, you guys really enjoyed that one. And uh, so did the YouTube algorithm. I think it's like one of my most, most viewed videos in like the last two to three months like easily it's only at like 5,000 views but still uh just to see that you guys have been enjoying this tc like bulk tcgo opening kind of mini series that i do every every three months um it's, it's good to see I, I like that you guys enjoy um enjoy watching me crack into these bulk packs so we have a pikachu i'm not a big fan of this pikachu art let me know your thoughts in the comment section below but i'm not a fan not a fan of that art but we have a reverse holo rare camera up. That is our first reverse holo rare camera up with another cacturn. 
Seven Cacturns. I, I was going to say, I've seen a lot of that card. I've seen a lot of Cacturn regular rares coming through. Okay, so we have a Cubone and a Regirock regular rare. There's only our second Regirock regular rare from the opening today. Interesting. It's just crazy, like... How you can get so many of like one, but then like next to nothing of another. And then all of a sudden like these Xerneas's come out of nowhere. I pulled the reverse holo, have like a wave of nothing. And now we got three Xerneas uh, holo rares out of nowhere. From out of nowhere, Randy Orton. I mean Xerneas. So we got Remoraid, reverse holo common, and an auxiliary, a regular rare. Alrighty, so we have a Corphish and an incoming Yawn that just faded away <laughs> with a Wigglytuff. Regular rare. How many of those do we have? We got five of those. So that's that's average. We've hit, we've hit our five there. How many packs? We're at 75, 74 now. Oh, we're down to our... This is the eighth last pack from the 100 packs. Can we step it up? Like, this has been a massive dry spell right now. Massive, massive dry spell. So... We might need to spice things up and go open uh, one of each of the Sun and Moon sets. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do it, guys. That's our first Houndoom of the 100 packs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, we got we to gotta break this. So, this is pack number 169 from the uh, the TCGO collection, collection. So, this is going to be a lucky pack. And then we'll come back and we'll finish off our last six packs of Crimson. You guys already know, we had a bit of an intermission and then we came back with power. So hopefully in these last seven packs we can get straight power after having a brief intermission here. So we just got the regular air cloister there from the sun and moon pack there. That one was supposed to be lucky. That was pack number 69. Well, 169. But you guys already know, giggity goo. Guess the, <laughs> guess the goods. Giggity goo gets the goods. And then we have a Victini holo rare from Guardians Rising. Then what can we get from Burning Shadows? So we've stepped it up from nothing to something to our final pack here from like our little intermission here. What do we have? Come on. Power, power, power. We want a Charizard Hyper Rare just purely because it's the Hyper Rare. <laughs> Alrighty, and just a Shenotic regular rare. So nothing all too fancy there. Come on, Crimson Invasion. We got six packs left. Six packs to go from this 100 pack opening. Can we do it? Can we do it, guys? So we have a Reverse Holo Counter Energy. And an Orangaroo Regular Air. That is number six of the Orangaroo. Fifth last pack, guys. Fifth last pack. We have a Reverse Holo Rare of a Reggie Gigas. Is that number? That's number one from today's opening. And a Crawdorn regular rare. Oh, are we going to end it off on like such a poor note? Like we, we've barely hit any ultras. I'm just saying out of 100 packs, I, I totally thought we'd be hitting like power here on TCGO throughout the whole video. Like every, every like five packs would be hitting like an ultra rare of sorts. But it's just not happening. Like it, these last six packs, please don't do this to me. We're down to our like second last pack right now. Please don't do this to me. Another Crawdon. Come on, last pack magic, guys. La this is our last pack. We're at 67 there. Come on. We have to end this on power. We have a Gladion there. And a Hollow Reggie Gigas. Okay, guys. So that wraps up the 100 pack opening. But you guys already know it doesn't end there. We're going to spice things up here for those guys that have watched through the whole video we're gonna open up a special pack we're gonna throw it back here oh, oh that plasma plasma storm's really looking at me right now i'm thinking i'm gonna do that i'm thinking plasma storm or flash fire plasma storm or flash fire coin flip okay do i have a coin on hand do i have a coin on hand I do. I do have my lucky one cent coin on hand, guys. So heads is flash fire, tails is plasma storm. Tails is plasma. St okay. Tails it is, guys. Tails is plasma storm. You guys couldn't see that, but I, I'm, I promise you guys. I, I always flip. I'll catch it, and it gets it gets flipped, and that's just just that's just how the cookie crumbles. Oh dear, plasma storm. Taking a while to build the pack, guys. 
It's taken a while. It's probably trying to load the epic arts from within and that full art goodness. Let's go. Okay. This this hurts. This hurts, guys. This hurts. What do we have? Oh, look at these arts. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. I love it. I love it. Look at that squirtle. That's adorable. That is amazing. Look at that coughing. Oh my goodness. These arts are just crazy. Alrighty, guys. So, enough of the admiring. I, I just had to take a second there to admire all the arts there. Our final pack from today's opening, guys, is... A Cherum regular rare. So we couldn't hit anything fancy out of the, the throwback bonus pack right there, the bonus round, but that is A-OK. -okay. This this art looks absolutely gorgeous here for Cherum. It's got 70 HP with the ability, fair weather heal, and random peck. Definitely love that coughing art. That looks really nice as well. But yeah, so I guess that wraps up our opening of every uh, like of 100 Crimson Invasion booster packs. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to wrap things up there. If you guys did enjoy today's opening of 100 Crimson Invasion Boost Packs, this massive opening today, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy today's opening and would like to see more of these TCGO openings on the channel. But with that said, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.